somewhere in the distant future. Chapter 10, Mobius oh Trip. Oh my. Oh. What, what happened? How long have I been out? The last thing I remember is using the time machine. Uh, only makes me a little lightheaded, but never anything like this. Oh no. My time machine, it's, it's completely broken. Oh no. no. Time machine is No, no, no. My time machine is blown to bits. <sighs> oh, sugar. What are we doing? No, let's check this first. Check this first. Come on. Do it. This time machine looks pretty banged up. Oh, the console's bugger, isn't it? Let's go. Looks like a power generator. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? It's amazing, that. <sighs> it's cold. Hmm. Dirt and rubble in the way. Oh wow. Spherical contraption. That's the other time machine. Wow, is this another time machine? It looks totally different. Besides the fact that it's completely falling apart. I mean it must have been here for quite a while. Yeah, I do tend to agree with that. Let's check the Jenny. Hmm. I don't I can't seem to figure out how this works. Dusty metallic surface. Yeah, I don't really know what this is. Looks like some kind of really impractical kitchen table. It says Berman Solar on it. Okay, let's, let's take this then. Take the shovel. Shovel, yeah, obviously. There's. Ah. Thick roots. Okay, so we go. Oh, go back. Shovel the door. There we go. Shovel that. Get in here. Ooh. First aid kit. Take that. Other than a piece of cloth, the first aid kit's picked clean. There's a rock. What is that? It's a block of concrete. Service is slightly rough to the touch. So there's nothing in here. There we go. Probably find some use for this cloth. We've got somebody here. Ah! Oh! Uh -huh. It's wearing the same suit I saw in those photos on the wall back in the lab. Person in has that suit. Take his skull. No. I think we used to see dead people run out of the room for some reason. So I've got a cloth. What would I need the cloth for? I don't know. Um, sorry, I'm not. I'm ignoring chat. Hey, cookies. Pop again before you go again. Never return home. Ah, headphones broke and I don't like to listen to stuff with my speakers. So, oh no. Shovel, shovel them at, yeah. So you new arrivals, straw pole, clean solar panels, yeah. But then the sun isn't out, so they're not going to work. But hey, we'll see how it goes. I'm not making much of a difference, it's still really dirty. Yeah, there's not much I can do there then, is there? Um, so that's a, yeah, okay, it's another time machine, yes. So is there anything else that I can use? There's nothing. There was nothing else in here, was there? A piece of rock, which I can't get. What's that? That's a cryo tube. I can't get to it. 
It's one of the cryotubes, but it's probably hundreds of years old, maybe more. What year did I end up in? Right, so we had the that's concrete. It's a block of concrete, slightly rough to the touch. So you could probably strike a match on it, maybe. Oh, there's another. Yeah, there's the um, back to where I came from. Dripping water. Ah, here we go. Look. There we go. Now it's so. Now I'll be able to clean it. Now it's nice and wet. Three for Destiny, one for AO2. Looks like we might be doing Destiny then. I never said I was living. Yeah, we did, because you weren't saying anything, Kazus. Here we go. Right, that's working. Seems to be running now. I wonder what it's powering. Should we go and see what it's powering? See where it goes. Where's it? Where's it going? Oh, it's in here. Is that the other machine? It looks like oh no, it's powering this one. Boink! <gasps> oh, hello. What on earth? How is that even possible? Wait, there's something sticking out of his backpack. Looks like a rusty mache. Yay! That means we can get the plants. Oh, this is a lot of backwards and forwards in the same area, isn't it? I'm hoping that we finish this because I can cut this up and then start doing this. This is um, it's going to be put up on YouTube in October. <coughs> Once it's complete, I couldn't cut paper with this thing. I need something sharper to cut through these. Right, use the concrete as a whetstone. That's what I need. There we go. Wow. Look at that. The machete's much sharper now. This book really did the trick. Yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much what I was thinking of with that. Doing uh there we go. Chop chop. Yeah. Machete broke. Everything breaks after you use it. What is going oh, it's Frank. The humidity in the air and the heat from the fire is making everything a little heavy in here. Frank. Frank? J Joe! Oh. P please. Need water. What are you... Please! I'll get you some water. Hang in there. Oh, come on. Don't make me walk away with a bag of cannon. This is padding, this is. This is padding. Hopefully the son of a gun's going to be dead by the time I get back. Uh, it's this one, isn't it? There we go. <sighs> it's cold. Well, fill up the. There we go. Uh, it's not as if I haven't run everywhere else today. Come on, Frank. You ain't not. He's not that far. Good grief. <clears throat> Frank is patient zero. Apparently, yeah. <sighs> Dun dun dun! There you go. Have some water, Frankie Poos. Hopefully, here you go, Frank. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you. Well, if he's patient zero, I don't understand. What are you doing here? Where are we? I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. I had no time. I pushed it as far as it'd go. But from what I've been reading, everything gets. Imprecise the farther you travel. Even your physical location can get messed up. Hmm. Nobody's been this far. Well, two people have. We could be 
hundreds, maybe thousands of years in the future for all I know. I don't get it. So you're a, a time pilot now? Do I really need to spell it out for you, Joe? I stole it. What? You stole the time machine, but, but why? <laughs> Look, I've got no reason to tell you, but I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> you're the last person I'll be sharing anything with anyway. Mm -hmm. The truth is, I'm a Soviet agent. <laughs> Cut it out, Frank. I'm not falling for that one again. I'm not joking. Frank, you're just sick, confused. Come on, you can't be. Where's your Russian accent? Joe, I'm an undercover agent deployed by the Kremlin. My job is to fit in. How far do you think I'd get if I went around calling everyone comrade? Uh. <laughs> oh dear. My real name is Yuri Barishev. I came to America in my early 20s. I went to school here, worked here, spent nearly 10 years building the foundation of an ordinary life. But the truth is that my life is far from ordinary. I am a spy. I was planted by the Soviet Foreign Intelligence Agency to gather intel on advanced U.S. military research programs. And I started getting my first missions in the mid-60s. That is a good point. For At the time, I thought I had built a Frank, promising portfolio of leads. Zero. But as I started to pursue them, most of them turned out to be worthless. Mm. By 1968, I had run out of goodwill with my <clears> handlers <throat> at the Kremlin. Mm. I was a disgrace, and headed for extraction. Desperate for something, anything to report. I came across a Canadian company moving large shipments of iridium, osmium, rare metals not typically used in mainstream manufacturing. The buyer turned out to be a government shell, rerouting the materials to unofficial contractors, one of which turned out to be Archon. Ew. Having convinced my superiors that I was onto something, I got a job as a janitor. But I didn't dig up much until you showed up. You were a great distraction, giving me plenty of chances to access off-limits areas. And for a while, I was able to scrounge together enough intel to keep the Kremlin happy. My hunch was correct, but I didn't have the full picture. Not yet. The metals were being used to build something unusual, all right. But I just couldn't piece it together. What I found made no sense. Time travel. Doomsday scenarios. It read like bad science fiction. For a while, I thought they were on to me, feeding me bogus information. But as time went on, with security tightening around the labs and no one confronting me, I began to suspect that my intel was legit. But time was running out, with Brezhnev and your President Nixon set to negotiate the Nuclear Disarmament Treaty in a few weeks. My superiors were demanding results. My job on the line, I got desperate and careless. And this morning, I got caught. Oops. Oh, Frank. Hi, King Wolfgar. I yeah, was tailing an engineer into an off-limits lab when I bumped into <laughs> Barney from security. Ironically, management chalked up my trespassing to cluelessness and settled for just firing me. Ooh. Knowing I wouldn't get another chance, I stole a security badge and snuck back in. I just found the time machine operator's manual when you showed up out of nowhere and nearly screwed it all up. Then it clicked. Not only could I steal the technology, it was the perfect getaway, too. Using the manual, I set the destination as high as it would allow. I figured if I could just get far away, I'd have plenty of time to figure out how to get it back to the motherland. But, well, I guess you know the rest. Listen, Joe. I'm really sick, and I'm not making it back. But you still can. 
The time machine has a timer, like a toaster. It's designed to return home unless the timer's reset. I removed the main power supply fuse to keep it from taking off without me. Here, take it. I have no idea how you got here, and I guess it doesn't matter. Still, despite my mission, a double life, and the deceit, your friendship was always genuine. You're an honest guy, Joe. And I've really enjoyed your company. Mm. And now, now, please leave me. The, the pain's coming back. Oh, oh it hurts to, to talk. Oh, 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 need rest. Mm, voice acting's not too bad. I guess we're running back then. And it looks like it might be me that's patient zero then. Hey King Wolfgar. Yeah, we'll be doing that. Very soon then. Get the straw pole go. Don't go back. Kill him? Yeah, actually saying that, can I kill him? I don't think I can. I've got no weapons to, so... No, he's unconscious. Quick, stamp on his head! Um... I get... whoa! I don't know what that was all about. Another time machine, looks totally different. Let's, let's see about putting them in there. No, that's not going to work in there. No, it's far too long gone for that. Come on in, let's go! Go, 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 go! Come on! Go, go, go! Joe is patient zero. Do 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 do. Put that in there. Come on, boiler suit, Joe. Let's go. Hey, there. I insert the fuse. I just hope it still works. Boom. Oh, <coughs> what happened? Did did I pass out again? <coughs> ah, whoa, the sign machine. <coughs> what happened to it? Yeah, there's a hole in the wall. There's a fragile wall. Force cracked from the time machine landing halfway inside it. What have we got there? Broken frame. Can you pick it up. Oh dear. Right, so use broken frame on the wall. There we go. Quick check the guard just in case he's got something on him. Any weapons or anything at all? Oh, there's a key on his belt. Yeah, anything else? No, good. Right, let's go. Get the bit <laughs> out of here. <laughs> uh, um, uh, I can't get out. Oh no. Oh dear. No. No, it can't be. The the foreign organism. It, it's, it's me. It's me. Oh no. I brought back the disease. I'm the one who spreads it. It it was me all along. I must have <laughs> brought it back with me oh god I think I'm gonna throw up uh oh I, I, I can't deal with this what do I do uh. <coughs> no keyhole control from the terminal come on in No. Come on. I need to use the other time machine to disappear again. I guess there's the. How? So what do I do? There's no key. No. <coughs> no. It's 
So what would you suggest, guys? Creepy man. <laughs> <coughs> Oh dear. Cryo chamber console. The controls are choose, but I don't know how to work it. There is another key. Was there anything made strong enough to withstand more than one use in this game? I don't know. I don't think there is. Freeze yourself, yeah. I was I was saying I was thinking that as well, but I don't think uh Ah, okay. Let's do this then. Oh, what's happening to me? Just turning the key makes my muscles hurt. I can feel my arms and legs starting to go stiff. <coughs> hey, there we go. We've got the <laughs> we've got the console guide. So we use the console guide on the console. Hopefully, this should sort it out. Put the virus kids in the glass. Fast <coughs> spreads. Disengage compression lock. No, I think I've unlocked it. Right, let's get in. <coughs> it's open. Get in. Okay. Oh. Ah. What are these clothes? Where am I? What are these clothes? Ooh. Okay. Getting ready. Destiny. Okay. That needs to go on then. It's a piece of paper. What's this? Uh, we've got a box of pens. Oh man, my joints are sore. Uh, I'll reach up there. Anything else there? I love it. My joints are sore, but I'll but I'll run around the room. The doors are locked. It says IKEA. IKEA sounds Japanese. At least I'm still on Earth. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's just like in a hospital. Um, okay. What is this place? The last thing I remember is drowning. There was a tube and it was filled with something. I was very sick. It's a terminal of some kind, but nothing like one I've ever seen. There's a card game on it. It says Solitaire. The image is so sharp it almost hurts my eyes. Go and have a look in. No, let's have a look in number three first. We'll go backwards. Oh. Fate Unknown, 999. Sims and Hegel. 1983, Fate Unknown, 1970, Lambert leaves Archon. Archon. All the way down to Krona. What? Whoa. Okay. frame oops damn <laughs> I really thought that was better fastened oh I'm getting uh, jittery man no way to escape it no way out no way out no way out I'm sorry what End of days, scourge and sickness, the cleansing of the earth. Okay. The overlords conspired against us, tricked us, made us bring the poison back into the nest, like good little ants. Who did? Too late. What's done is done. No backsies, but we must try. Do you hear me? I, it's got to be finished. Uh, sure. 
Come on. <laughs> the key to salvation. I've seen it. Felt its color. Know its shape. <laughs> they don't know that I know. Oh no. But I know. I know. <laughs> write it. Write it, write it, write it. Before it disappears. Write it down before it disappears. Took away my tools. <laughs> I'll forget without my tools. Your tools? Pens. Paper. They're erasing the slate. Forcing me to forget. Trying to break my resolve. The persistence of memory. I must repeat, repeat, repeat. All the time, repeat. Oh, they fear me. <laughs> Cower at the sight of scientific wow. rigor. They know I'm close, so they take away my tools. But I'll show them. <laughs> the blinding light of the what? scientific method casts know, no God. shadows. <laughs> Bill Cipher. No. <laughs> Stop saying Bill. My screen is red, you little sh... Okay, Bill. <laughs> Bill, Bill, Bill. <laughs> um, okay. Alright, so we, I guess we're going to find pens. Some sort of gizmo stuck underneath the cushion. It kind of reminds me of those fancy zones of TV remote controls. one of the Actually, from space. Okay. I'm going to be as fast as I can, but I don't think I'm going to do it before. Oh no. Agitated man. Whoa. Okay, so you can't, can't go. Here, look, have that. No, you don't want that? Okay. I need to give him something, but I don't know what to give him. Blip. I think I need to use the keypad. Yeah, well, <laughs> I need to get these pens. So I'll throw that at him. Can't see any buttons that would make that happen. We'll get. What you <laughs> lazy git? Right. So, is there anything else that I need to? I need to use a keypad. Okay, so we use a keypad. There's no way I'll be able to guess the combination. So there is. Can I do this? I know it's a computer, but. Nothing, I'm pretty sure it's some kind of computer terminal, not TV. So there's no, there's nothing here. Oh, hang on. Is that a TV instead of a window in his room? Yeah, it is. Click. Boop. I'll have that. Most of the pens end up on top of the closet, but at least I got this one down. Right, I got one down. There we go. Right, so pen and paper got. Let me go to back to room three and give him the pen and the paper. Have a pen. My dear, then the sword, the pen, the pen, the pen. And Need paper. paper to reproduce the key. Need the paper. Gotta have paper. All right. The key. The key. Keep it close. Five, seven, Keep it three, safe. One. Bring help. Don't get caught. Save the kingdom. Get the girl. Save the kingdom. Get the girl. Save the kingdom. Get the girl. <laughs> Well, we know that that is going to go with the keypad. Do, 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 do. Boop. Guess it worked. Ooh. Well, there's Windows, look. Boop. One of the, one of those weird, that's how many screens again. Okay. Uh, table. 
Um, miss? Nurse? I... Oh, hi there. Goodness. <laughs> you startled me. You could have just knocked. And it's doctor, actually? Dr. Emma Brown? I'm a little embarrassed to say, but we don't have any files on you, so I don't even know your name. I... it's Joe, ma'am. Oh, call me Emma. We're not so formal here. It's nice to meet you, Joe. I'm sorry, Dr. Brown. I don't know how to say this, but you, everyone here, is in serious danger. I'm very sick, and it's very important you call the authorities and- Whoa, whoa, whoa. Take it easy. Deep breaths. There's nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> how do you feel? I... okay, I guess. Yeah, a little sore. See, you're fine. And the soreness is to be expected. You've undergone muscle therapy. Hey, Stallion. You've been asleep for <laughs> at least three decades, Hello, after goodbye. all. Maybe even more. <laughs> what? This is good time. Not at all. Where am I? What year is this? Get Easy, in. Joe. Yep. I know it's a lot to take in. It'd be a shock to anyone's system. Haven't been under for as long as you have. Mm. It's 2012, Whoa. and this is the psychiatric ward at St. Genevieve's Hospital. You were brought out of hibernation five weeks ago. Like the others, you were placed in an artificial coma for regenerative muscle therapy, and brought here for evaluation and rehab after everything checked out. Oh god. The tubes. You have to listen to me, doctor. I I'm dangerously sick. I was carrying something when, when, when I got in. I oh, <laughs> that? Well, that's true. You did all have some kind of flu. Actually, the resident physician did find it peculiar how you had all contracted a type of avian flu that only first appeared in the late 90s, and a new strain at that. Ooh. In any case, the pathogen was largely dormant due to the extended hibernation. We run very thorough medical checks on all our cryo clients, so we gave you all a shot of our regular cocktail. Cleared it right up before you even came to. So it's... gone? But Archon... Yes, I'm afraid I don't know much about all of that. All I know is that the company that froze you went bankrupt back in the early 70s. A victim of industrial sabotage, I think. <laughs> Anywho, the remaining assets were sold <clears throat> off, and the Cryoform company bought the cryogenics technology. As per ethical requirements, that included all of you who were frozen there. We've been helping rehabilitate Cryoform's clients for the past five years or so. Mostly folks suffering from previously incurable terminal illnesses and heavy wallets. Mm -hmm. uh, you didn't hear that from me, huh? <laughs> Unfortunately, cryogenics was a little... experimental when you went under. So, while the company's been freezing and reviving clients for quite some time, you had to stay confined to the original equipment. Apparently, a lot of Archon's original documentation was destroyed in a fire, so Cryoform had practically no information on any of you. That's another reason it took so long to figure out how to revive you. Sadly, the others haven't been quite as coherent. They share certain delusions, you know, end of the world, that sort of thing. An unfortunate side effect of Cryogenic's primitive it's state at the America. time, I suspect. Yeah. <laughs> That's one thing. You, however, seem just fine. Apart from the shock, I mean. Mm. So... So I'm not sick? You sure? <laughs> yes, Joe, quite sure. In fact, I see no reason to keep you here. We have an excellent rehabilitation team who'll get you settled into your new life in no time. Just come see me when you're ready to go. <laughs> well, I guess I'm ready to go. Okay, right, I'll be back in just two seconds.
Right, should we get this finished? So, are we all ready to go? I guess. Oh, don't worry. The rehab team's eager to help get you settled in. I know it may feel a little overwhelming now, but trust me, you'll love it in 2012. Endless opportunities. A whole new lease on life. Speaking of, I happened to catch you on the surveillance monitors a little while ago, and you seem to show excellent problem-solving skills. You like puzzles, Joe? <laughs> I... Perfect. I'll be sure to mention it to the career coaches. They'll find just the right thing for you. Okay. <clears throat> Achievement unlocked. 21st century man. <laughs> uh huh. There's that same bloke with a bottle on the left there. Well, he's got an orange top on again. That was pretty cool. We enjoyed that. Yay! The end. Just made me think of drinking a cup up while floating just above Earth. <laughs> Earth, waiting for storm. Yeah, <clears throat> there we go. I'm going to let the credits go while I set up um, while I set up Destiny might get a bit noisy though bear in mind I am not very good <laughs> to say the least you can probably hear Destiny in the background now oh dear I'm going to log in now, as soon as these um, credits are done, then I'll give it a couple of minutes, just so I can go off and, and grab a drink, and grab something to eat really, really quick, only for only for two minutes, and then I'll be back with, uh, with some more, with Just Gaming as well. If the game decides it wants to load today, mm -hmm. yes. <coughs> hey, nice one. All right, um, I'm not going to accept the invites and stuff yet until this is finished. Uh, Destiny and PS4. gaming it just made me think of you drinking a cup of whilst floating just above earth waiting for storm yeah it, I would not be surprised at all <laughs> sending you some back as well kitty sweetheart um, Actually, while this is going, I can put this on quiet and just let it go. So, I will be back before it ends, hopefully. Or maybe not. Right. Thank you very, very much for watching. That was quite fun. Nice little uh, point and click game enjoyed that immensely just about as much as uh, inside which is also on the YouTube channel on a separate playlist as well 
right for the YouTube side I will say thank you for watching hope you enjoyed leave a like or a dislike if you didn't like it um, sub if you want don't sub if you want as well all in all just have fun and see you on the next one